Okay, shall you and I, Randy Alice, get up and make Let's our go. way Let's go. into the kitchen? I'm so curious about these shrimp shells in the pot. I wonder if Michelle Dudash eats those shrimp <laughs> shells. You know, Michelle, some people do. Well, you know, if shrimp shells are fried and breaded a little, they're actually delicious. They get crispy. Okay. So I, but not take in, your word th for in this it. one. We're just using it for the base of our broth, but. No, okay. like in, I think sushi, I think they do that sometimes. It's amazing. Oh, um, interesting. Okay, yeah, so the recipe that we're making, so it's, of course, National Nutrition Month, which is, you know, we're, we're in week three, which is encouraging us to explore some new skills in the kitchen. Yes. So I think this is the perfect dish for that. So this is my seafood stew, and these are the shrimp shells. So, of course, I peeled the shrimp, put them in the pan, sautéing them with some olive oil, now I'm adding, this is another ingredient you may not have that? tried. This is clam juice. Ooh. Now you can clam find juice. Uh, okay. mm -mm. Now here, Do you, does this, this sound Would you drink though? that straight, Randy? Sure. If you Give me some clam enjoy, juice. like clam chowder or I do like clam bisque. chowder, yes. Uh, spoiler alert, they're using a seafood stock. Ah. Probably some shells in the base and probably some type of a seafood stock. This is okay. just one at the grocery store that's really re re readily available. You know, it doesn't matter the brand really. But it's going to be, you're going to find it where like where the canned tuna and things are like okay. that. Okay. So I always add that. I'm going to add a couple of those. Now, what we also add is just so you're not having to buy like 20 bottles of clam juice, you can also pick up to <laughs> like half of the broth. Yeah. Take your bone broth. I like the bone broth because it is a little, you know, a little richer. Yeah. It has more protein in it than your typical broth. You're actually eating 10 grams in every cup. And I know okay. we're all trying to get more protein these so days. So these are healthy dishes, but of course that yeah. tastes really good at the same time. Yes, absolutely. Oh, this is in my new cookbook, by the way. Oh, fantastic. In the low carb Mediterranean cookbook, yes. Great. So I'm just obsessed with this. When I go to a restaurant, I always want to get like a seafood stew, especially yeah. like on a nice rainy day like this. A nice rainy day like this, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> a rainy day is nice. A wet rainy day, yeah. <laughs> A wet rainy So I'm adding some seasonings too. Now, these are my Dash Dinner's marinara. Yes. So of course you can pick those up locally. Of course, if you don't have these on hand, I, in the, on the recipe that we posted online, there's thyme in it. You can add your salt, your pepper, your uh, Flavor oregano, needed, yeah, right. whatever your pantry spices are that you have on hand. Okay, so we add this. Now, before I add, so these shrimp shells are going at home. You'll simmer this for about 10 minutes. Right? I wondered yeah. how you were you'll, going yeah. to get these you'll out. You'll simmer that, yes. Then, this, of course, is our well, spider. Well, that's a handy tool. Our little spider. I'll grab this plate. So here. that's essentially, obviously, just for flavor. Exactly. Then. Yeah, you are, we're not going to, we're not going to chew on these. We're not adding these for texture later. Randy, I will not serve <laughs> this to you and ask you to eat them. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so we just. I may try hold it. I'm saying, if I get stuck in your teeth a little bit. Yeah. So that's the uh, final. Then we're going to add in some diced canned Ooh. tomatoes. I, I just, I feel like diced tomatoes, mm. you can just do so much with them. I always love keeping the smaller, the 14 ounce yeah. can on hand. And then from there, we uh, stir in our seafood. Now you'd simmer this. You can use white fish. We're adding today white fish and shrimp. Okay. So this is tilapia. But of Ooh. course, use whatever you have on hand. I mean, so no need to cook this beforehand and then put it in there. It's all going to cook together. Correct. Okay. Yes. Actually, it's you don't want to overcook okay. these seafood. Well, because in fish yeah. is one of those things I feel like because I know Randy, you cook fish all the time, oh, right? Absolutely. At home. Yeah. <laughs> and it can be overcooked pretty easily. Yes. Same with shrimp. Yeah. You don't want to end up with rubber balls at right. the end. You just want to cook them probably just a few minutes until they're tender. And then over here, we have, of course, our finished Ooh. seafood stew. And hmm. I'll show you the, we have the shrimp in here. They're perfectly oh, cooked. good. We have the uh, seafood. So we'll ladle this, ladle this into our bowl. And then we're going to finish it off with a couple ingredients that are fresh that as well. That looks delicious. Well, I know you yeah, joked sure, about like yeah. nice rainy day and then you said wet rainy day, but I feel like you want something on a day like this, right? Where yeah. it's just warm I, and I, I, hearty. Absolutely. Sit at home. Build a fire at home. Yes. Keep your old legs up and eat. Yeah. <laughs> legs mm -hmm. up. Get your soup on for we sure. We drizzled that with some olive oil. Oh, that looks good, it Michelle. With some, thank you. Fresh parsley. And then, of course, we're going to hit that with a little oh, bit of lemon. lemon. Fresh lemon. At the end. You wanted your mm. lemon at the end. That gives it a nice, bright taste.
That is so. pretty. Thank you. And a little bit of bread there I see on the side. Yes. Uh, I just toasted up some bread. You can drizzle that with some olive oil too. And then you can just kind of dip it in there when no one's looking. And it's delicious. When no one's so, looking. Yeah. I love that. Sop it up. Are you a sopper? Some people yeah. do that with like, you know, crackers and chili. Absolutely. Yeah. And then one more thing my husband likes to do if you want more veggies, you can, we'll, he'll line his bring bowl this over? with arugula, like baby arugula. For just like another nice Ooh. little bed of vegetable under there. All right, Rand, move good. that plate. Yeah, give that a right. taste. Let's yes. give. Now, I know you're not the biggest fantasy food, right? No, but I'll try. I don't want to make you try anything you perhaps don't like, but Can let I me get the you. Bread yeah, please. About? Have Absolutely. At it. Have at it. Right. Well, you know yeah. what? <laughs> you know what, Randy? Mm -hmm. um, There's some. I can't find a spoon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> perfect. I love that. <laughs> We might need more spoons in the Andy's <laughs> kitchen. Big enough? I don't know. Hey, it's what we do, right? We make things work. It's a little hot. Be careful. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that's mm -hmm. super flavorful. He likes it. Mm -hmm. It is warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very warm, but it's good. Oh, it's so, it, it looks good. so good. I'm going to try that coming up. Oh, he's sopping it. I knew it. He's, he's a dipper. He's a dipper. Okay, Michelle, more coming up with you, right? We have a smoothie. Yes, I'm showing you how to add more protein to your smoothies. Well, there you go. Make it two smoothies. Protein in the morning, ready before you come to work. <coughs> All right, Anessa, I think we got a two thumbs up over here. Uh, necessity is the mother of invention. I love seeing Alice drink with an ice cream scoop. Yes. That's great. <laughs>